The Hue Saturation Adjustment lets you adjust not only color saturation, but other properties of color too. And it gives you the option to adjust either particular colors or all the colors in an image. So you get more control over color with this adjustment than with the Vibrance Adjustment that we looked at earlier in this tutorial. If you're following along, open both these images from the practice files for this tutorial. Let's start with this image of threads on a loom. If it's not showing, click its tab at the top of the document window here. Now go up to the image menu and choose Adjustments, Hue Saturation. That opens the Hue Saturation dialog box. If it's covering your image, you can click its title bar and drag it out of the way. The dialog box has three main sliders. The Hue slider controls the overall color. So if I drag Hue to the right, I get a different colorway than if I drag it over here to the left. I'll put it back to zero. The saturation slider controls the intensity of the color. Dragging to the right makes all the colors in the image more intense. Dragging to the left mutes all the colors in the image. I'll put that one back to zero too to show you the last slider, lightness. Dragging this to the left makes all the colors darker. Dragging to the right makes all the colors lighter. I'll put that back to zero too. When you use the sliders as we just did, they affect all the colors in an image. But the hue saturation adjustment offers something more, the ability to adjust individual colors throughout an image. Let's switch to the other open image to see that. I'm going to click cancel to close the hue saturation dialog box and go back to the document window and click on the tab of the other open document. Let's open that dialog box again by going to image, adjustments, Hue Saturation. We've already seen that if I were to move the saturation slider, that would affect the saturation of all the colors in the open image. But let's say that I just want to affect the saturation of the yellows in this image. To do that, I'll go to the menu labeled Master, and I'll choose one of the color ranges from that menu. I'm going to choose Yellows. If I drag the saturation slider all the way to the right, you'll see that it's affecting all the yellows throughout the image. Or if I were to go all the way to the left, you can see that I'm lowering the color intensity of all the yellows. Not only the yellow flowers, but also some of the foliage too, because some of that has yellow in it as well. I'd like to lower the color intensity of the yellows just a little. So I'm going to take that saturation slider and I'll put it just about here. You can experiment with changing the hue and the lightness of individual colors too. Now what if I wanted to change the saturation of the orange flowers in the image? If I go up to the menu, I don't see orange there. So rather than just guess at what color range might cover the orange looking flowers, there's a tool that I can use right here to automatically target whatever the orange is in the flowers and change that color throughout the image. I'll activate this tool by clicking on it. And when there's a dark box around the icon, it's turned on. I'll move into the image and click on the orange in one of these flowers. Keep my mouse held down, and as I drag to the left, I'm lowering the color intensity of the oranges wherever they appear in the image. If I drag to the right, I'm increasing the intensity. And when I do that, you can see that there's some of that orange color, not only in the flowers, but also in the wall, in the vase, and in the table. I'm gonna drag just to the left of zero, maybe to about right there. If you look at the Hue Saturation dialog box, you'll see that dragging in the image with that tool activated has moved the saturation slider and it's chosen reds as the color range. I'm going to click on that tool to deactivate it and then I'll click OK to accept all these changes. And finally, I'll go to the File menu and I'll choose Save As and I suggest that you change the name of this image so that you don't save over your original with this version. So the hue saturation adjustment gives you lots of options for controlling color in your photos, and it can be applied as a direct adjustment as we just did, or as an adjustment layer, a topic we'll cover next.